Finally, an electric reel that regular people can afford. In this video, we have a complete review, features and benefits on the brand new Piscifun, pronounced Pikifun, Kraken electric reel. This is gonna make deep drop fishing a whole lot easier and a whole lot more budget friendly for a lot of people. We're gonna answer all of your questions on this reel, so hit that subscribe button down there. Check this out. So, let's get this reel out of the box and see what it looks like. There's some of the specs on it. You can pause it right there if you like. Gear ratio, five to one. Braid capacity, 40 pound test, 545 yards. Weighs 30 ounces, 12 plus one ball bearings. Max drag, 33 pounds. Uh, max momentary drag, 48 pounds. 12 volt system. Some more features. We have a high strength aluminum alloy body. Precision copper and stainless steel gears. Carbon friction drags, pretty standard there. CNC precision aluminum spool, we'll check that out. A Japanese motor, which that ought to be real durable, we'll check that out. Speed switch and pretty much all the other stuff you would expect to see on an electric reel. Thanks, nice little reel bag there. Cracking instructions. Power cable, all right. A little reel clamp, a couple bolts, a little tool. There it is. All right. For the size of it, right out of the box, I will tell you guys, this is about the size of the 750 series of the Daiwa Tanacoms. So it should be able to handle the depths we're fishing at. The manual part of the reel is really smooth, so that's nice. There's your speed switch there. Spool drag here. Got nice click adjustment on it like that. Power connection on the back. Real seat, of course. So that's a very nice looking reel. Uh, like I said, it's about a 750 series or 500 series size, which should be plenty for getting into the 300 foot, 350 foot range that we fish in. Uh, we'll see how many yards of line it holds and I'll let you know with 60 pound braid, how much we can get on the spool. But very nice looking reel and very smooth. Just to try this thing out, here's the power cable that the Piscifun Kraken comes with. Got a nice little strap on it. And this is about, about a 10 foot power cable. I'll measure it and confirm that, but I'm guessing this is a good 10 foot power cable. It looks to be identical to the ones that work on the Tanacom uh, reels and other similar products. There we go, hooks up the same way. Just doing a little quick test run here. First thing you'll notice is these clips got an overbite. So they might not work quite as well with the tab style batteries. We're gonna hook ours on this way. <sighs> Difficult to get them open enough. Get on the tab, there we go. There's our reel, that's on. Got our reset there. Menu, pickup button. Not too loud. We'll have to put some line on this thing to check it out. This is a power cable for a standard Daiwa Tanacom or other similar models. So there, this is the Tanacom power cable. It does appear to fit this reel fine. Let me hook it up to my battery here. This battery has the posts on it. Yep, powers right up. So you can use the Tanacom type cables with this Piscifun crack and reel. Through the magic of YouTube, I went to our local sporting goods store, Green Top Sports, and got her filled up with my favorite 65 pound braid. This crack and reel from Piscifun held 400 yards of 65 pound all the way to the spool. There's no backer on this, it's 100% braid. That's not bad. 400 yards is 1,200 feet worth of fishing, and this nice little lightweight electric reel. That's pretty good. Now I'm going to mount it up on a brand spanking new Shimano Travala. We'll see how it acts. A couple quick things to note before we mount it up. To get into free spool with the Kraken, you just have a push button like a standard bait casting reel to get you into free spool. This is your spool drag here to add tension so you don't backlash it when you're letting things down. And to put it back into fishing or fighting mode, you just turn the handle and that clicks it back up. So it acts a lot like a standard level wind or bait casting type of a reel. On the bottom, you also have a couple of keyways here for your reel clamp bolts. And as you can tell, we've had no problem getting these bolts, these coach bolts installed with the spool fully spool full of line. 
All right, so we got the Peaky Fun Kraken all mounted up to this Traveller rod. Look at that. That's a nice-looking combo right there, if there ever was one. That thing looks really cool, and believe it or not, it's pretty lightweight. This would be no problem running some jigs, uh, slow pitch or fast pitch. You could definitely do that in deep water, and when you get it, hit that hammer and just hang on and let the reel do the work for you. That's how we're planning on using this thing, at least one of the ways. So let's go ahead and throw a battery on it, do a little testing in the yard just for fun. That's what it looks like in the front, looking right into it. Get your worm gear there, your level line. Another view of that side with a spool drag, star drag, speed switch, thumb switch for free spool. All right, we got the battery hooked up. We got the reel zeroed out, and I've got a four pound deep drop weight. I'm gonna attach this thing and go about 60 yards that away and uh, just do a little test. Time to take a walk. Whew. All right, that's enough exercise for one day. I've been playing with these instructions and the reel itself, and the instructions say that if you set it for 60 pounds, that it'll display the line capacity in feet. But I'm here to tell you, this is not 59 feet that is 59 yards so just be warned if you set it for the pound capacity and you got 60 pound braid on there that's pretty close to being dead on accurate at 60 yards let's go ahead and click it up see how it acts it has an auto stop set for nine feet from the reel i don't think it's nine feet but it ought to be pretty close. I've played with it a little bit. Yeah, it's about, uh, probably about six or seven yards worth. Really, and then the rest of the way by hand isn't bad. And the nice thing about it is it protects you from reeling in your swivel and your bait and everything right through your line guides because this motor is really powerful. So there you go. Did a great job. I got a four pound weight hanging off of this thing. Did just fine. Now it's time to put it in the water. One more thing I'll tell you guys, uh, the camera microphone makes this reel sound a lot louder than it is. It is nowhere near that loud in person. It's a little louder than my Tanacom 1200s, but of course that motor is integral to the spool. This one is nowhere near as loud as it sounds. It's actually fairly quiet, not abusive at all. The camera definitely makes that sound way louder than it is. So I think that's going to answer pretty much all of the questions you guys have as far as just features till we get this thing in the water and try it out on some real fish. It's about as far as I can go. If you have questions, please leave them in the comments below and I will definitely get to those, especially when we get this thing out on the boat fishing. Right now, the Peaky Fun Kraken electric reel, I got to tell you, is pretty impressive for the money. Definitely lightweight, plenty of power, and I think it's going to do a great job on those fish. Make sure you hit that subscribe button down there. Give me that thumbs up like button. Don't forget to leave your questions. You guys will see this in action here on the channel very soon. Thanks again for watching. See you next time.